the American Civil War was a house divided that could not stand. A war that posed potential danger to rip the nation apart. A war that took the lives of over one half a million citizens and soldiers. There are many battles that took place in the Civil War, but the brutality of the war was initiated by the Confederates' bombardment of Fort Sumter, Charleston Harbor, South Carolina. Shortly after Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860, seven southern states seceded from the Union. On February 7, 1860, the seven states formed their alliance and established a temporary capital in Montgomery, Alabama. Confederate forces had taken over nearly all Union forts, and peace treaties were turned down. Early in 1861, the Union had sent a ship named the Star of the West to Fort Sumter's garrison to earn supplies and reinforcements. The Confederates who were surrounding Fort Sumter fired upon the ship and turned it back. At this point, the federal government still maintained the garrison of Fort Sumter, despite the Star of the West's failure to deliver. In early April, both the North and the South seemed to be pushing to have the final match, the final explosion that would finally plunge the country into war because so many people seemed to want it. Anderson held his fire until 7 a.m. The board had limited amount of weaponry and gunpowder, and he avoided using cannons. The battle lasted for 33 and a half hours, with no valid casualties. April 14, 2 p.m., Anderson agreed to a surrender. In exchange for a gun salute for Private Edward Galloway, Private Danny Howe, who had died in an accidental cannon discharge. There were the first fatalities in the Civil War. This was only the start of the bloodshed that lasted four years. Over 625,000 lost their lives. This is more American deaths than World War I, World War II, Vietnam, and the Korean War. 